Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a brilliant attacking game played by Argentine chess master Jorge Smetan. His opponent is Cuban chess grandmaster Guillermo Garcia Gonzalez and the game was played in 1976 in Malaga. In that same year Smetan earned international master title and also won Argentine chess championship. In this game he had white pieces and he opened up with e4 to which Garcia Gonzalez responded with Sicilian defense c5, native sorry e6, d4 c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight c6, knight c3, and d6. Scheveningen variation is on the board, bishop e3, knight f6, bishop c4, bishop e7, and queen e2. Against Scheveningen, white is choosing the Velmirovich attack which leads to double-edged positions. By putting the queen on e2, white is preparing castling queenside and also from e2 square, unlike from d2, white queen is keeping an eye on g4 square, thus making g4 advance possible. White will no longer lose a precious time on playing f3, a6 white castled queenside, queen c7, bishop b3, black castled kingside and there it goes, g4 is on the board. Knight takes d4 and rook takes d4. This is the main move and in some cases if needed you can even harass black queen by playing rook c4, b5, g5, knight d7, rook g1. So far we see the main moves. In some cases white's rook not only can support the advance of the g-pawn but also white can transfer his rook on the h-file. Knight c5, knight e5, white is making a pawn sacrifice. The idea hidden behind this sacrifice is the immediate transfer of white's rook to the h-file. Other popular alternative is queen h5 but in our game we have e5. And g6, black stopped any possible queen h5 ideas but anyways we have rook h4, bishop b7, rook g3. As the queen can't join the attack, the second rook is coming. King g7, black wants to strengthen the pawn on h7 by playing rook h8. But once the king is stepping on the long diagonal, now white is getting another chance to press it. He takes d6 is the threat, d5, neutralizing the threat. If only black could guess white's next move then he would have probably gone for knight takes b3, removing the bishop. But instead we have d5 which steps into this brutal bishop takes d5 move. Of course accepting the bishop sacrifice is not good, e6 is coming and this is going to be a total destruction. That's why after bishop takes d5, black recaptured with a light squared bishop and knight takes d5. I have to tell you that bishop takes d5 is already losing. At this point at least it was better either to play h5 in order if white captures m passant then black can use this pawn as a shield and can hide behind it or after bishop takes d5 even b4 is good. Attacking the knight. If bishop takes c5 then b takes c3 if bishop takes e7, then c takes b2 check. In this case, black is managing to hold. White's position is still preferable, but this is a better line than the one we see in our game. In our game, bishop takes d5 followed, but this is going to be catastrophic for black. Here comes knight takes d5. He takes d5 and e6 discovered check. Now if king g8, then like in the previous line, rook takes h7 is winning. If queen f4 check then simply queen e3, here then rook takes e3, and yes white is winning, if here then rook takes e7. In our game after e6 check we have f6 and as we have reached the critical position please pause the video and try to find white's next moves. Ready? Well on the surface it may seem that white's attack has come to dead end, but luckily Jorges Metan has a brilliant attacking resource and he made a queen sacrifice. Look at this beauty guys. The weakness of the g file and the long diagonal make this queen sacrifice possible. Uh, in here black first announced the check from d3 and only then accepted the queen sacrifice but now let's see how white finished up his opponent. Of course white will never accept the knight sacrifice once white rook leaves the 
g file already is black who is winning. That's why after knight d3 check we see king b1 and after g takes h5 we see g takes f6 discovered check. King h8 and f takes e7 discovered check. This pawn is simply a monster and is slicing through black's army. This time we have e takes f8 queen check. Rook takes f8, rook takes h5, the threat is bishop takes e5. Black made a desperate move, lured away white bishop but after bishop takes f2 resigned. Right now again the threat is bishop d4 and if you cover the d4 square by playing knight c6 then rook f5 can follow. If queen d6 then rook f7, e7 is the threat, if h6 then anyways e7, yeah, and if knight takes e7 then your knight is no longer controlling the d4 square. Bishop d4 is winning, that's why on move 28, after bishop takes f2, black resigned. A very, very impressive attacking game where with a brilliant queen sacrifice, white blew apart black's position. In the end, a chess puzzle for you where the task is to find the winning line for white. It's white to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you, feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.